he said, I have never seen any Buddha in any in all the Buddha lands who fails to speak the doctrines of the Ten Grounds. And why? There are the Bodhisattvas, Masattvas, the most superior path to Bodhi. The great Bodhisattvas among Bodhisattvas use these Dharma doors as the superior path for cultivating Bodhi. There are also doors of pure Dharma light. The Ten Grounds are also entrances into the light of pure Dharma wisdom, namely the wisdom accordingly certified so by Bodhisattvas. All Bodhisattvas accordingly cultivate and certify to this wisdom. At that time, after Vara Chajuri Bodhisattva had finished speaking the names of the ten grounds, he remained silent and did not further distinguish them. He did not open his mouth, he said nothing, withdrew to one side, and did not explain the meaning of the ten grounds any further. Thereupon, all the assembly of Bodhisattvas, all the great Bodhisattvas who had come there from the ten directions, upon hearing the names of the Bodhisattvas' ten grounds, but not hearing their explanation, when they did not hear Varachajori Bodhisattva give any deeper explanation of their principles, all looked up in thirst, turning up their heads, they waited for Vara Treasury Bodhisattva to explain and had this thought. What is the cause and what is the reason that Vara Treasury Bodhisattva only speaks the names of the Bodhisattva's ten grounds yet does not explain them? Why did he only tell us the names of the ten grounds of a Bodhisattva with no commentary or explanation? Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva Knowing what was being thought by all those in the Great Assembly, used verses to question Vara Chajuri Bodhisattva, saying, Why is it that the pure enlightened one, you Bodhisattva, replete with, the, with mindfulness, wisdom, and virtue, who have perfected pure mindfulness, the light of wisdom, and all meritorious qualities, speaks the, of the superior wondrous grounds, you give the names of the ten grounds, yet with power to do so still does not explain them. Why is it that even though you have the power to explain them in detail, you do not do so for all of us? Sutra, you have decisiveness and judgment, are courageous and are not weak-willed. Why do you only name the grounds without going on then to discuss them? The wonderful doctrines of the grounds, all those assembled wish to hear, their minds show no trace of cowardice. They wish you to speak them in detail. The multitudes assembled are all pure, devoid of laxness, stern they are, and clear, able to be solid and unmoving, with merit and virtue, wisdom, all endowed. Mutually, they look to you in reverence, all of them intent with upward gaze, like bees that are mindful of their honey, like thirsty people thinking of sweet dew. Commentary Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva went on to say to Varachajari Bodhisattva, You have decisiveness and judgment. You have the decisive wisdom to understand right and wrong, are courageous and are not weak-willed. You cultivate the Bodhisattva way with courageous vigor and are not afraid of anything. So why do you only name the grounds? Why did you just speak the names of the ten Bodhisattva grounds without going on then to discuss them? You did not expound them for everyone. The wonderful doctrines of the grounds, each of the grounds is sure to have very inconceivable and subtle doctrines. Those entire assembly wish to hear right now. All of the mantitos in the Dharma assembly wish to hear those doctrines. Their minds show no trace of cowardice. The, the hearts of all the Bodhisattvas have no fear whatsoever. They wish you to speak them in detail. If you would just speak this drama, they would all like to hear it. The multitudes assembled are pure, devoid of laxness, stern there and clear. 
the bodhisattvas in this bodhimanda are all courageously vigorous, stern, strict, and pure, with a great resolve for body. They are able to be so late and unmoving, and are with merit, virtue, wisdom, all endowed. Mutually, they look to you in reverence. Their eyes are all upon you, as they wait with much respect for you. O Bodhisattva, to speak to them, all of them intent with upward gaze. All uh, the great Bodhisattvas are looking towards you, single-minded, thirsty for the explanation, like bees that are mindful of their honey, like thirsty people thinking of sweet dew. They are waiting just that, sincerely, in single-minded, eager, anticipation. Sutra, at that time, the greatly wise and fearless Bodhisattva, Vada Treasury, having heard what was said, and wishing to make the assembled multitudes happy for all disciples of the Buddha, used verses and said, Commentary, at that time, the greatly wise, if you have great wisdom, then no matter what happens, you have no problems. People who lack wisdom, however, have problems no matter what happens. And fearless, you should not be afraid of people, but you also must not go around bullying people. Fearing and bullying people amount to the same thing. To be fearless does not mean to beat up on people or to argue with them. It is just that as a result of your own great wisdom. There is nothing that you fear. Bodhisattva Vara Treasury, who was it, who was greatly wise and fearless, it was Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, who, having heard what was said by Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva in his verses, and wishing to make the assembled Mantitus happy for all disciples of the Buddha, for all the great Bodhisattvas, used the verses and said, Sutra. The deeds of Bodhisattva's grounds and practice are sources most supreme of Buddha's all. Clear discussion of them in detail is foremost. Rare is hard to come upon. There are, there are subtleties are difficult to see apart from thought. They go beyond the mind. The states and realms of Buddhas that appear cause those to hear to be confused and doubt. Commentary the deeds of Bodhisattva's grounds of practice. Bodhisattva Vara Treasury said, During a Bodhisattva's cultivation on the causal ground, he experiences the events on the ten Bodhisattva grounds, which are sources most supreme of Buddha's own. There is nothing higher than they are, and they are the basic Dharma doors for accomplishing Buddhahood. Clear discussion of them in detail is for most rare and hard to come upon. They are rarely explained. There are subtleties are difficult to see. Practices of Bodhisattvas have fine points, fine points which are not easy to understand. Apart from thought, they go beyond the mind. These kinds of Dhamma doors are such that the path of language is cut off and the place of the mind's working is extinguished. They go beyond all reflection and deliberation. The states of andriums of Buddhas that appear, all that manifest are the Buddha states, cause those who hear to be confused and doubt. It is very hard for those who hear of these Dhamma doors to understand them, and it is very easy for them to give rise to doubts and confusion. Sutra if one holds the mind like Vaira with the deep faith in the Buddha's foremost wisdom, knowing that the mind ground lacks a self, one can hear these dramas most supreme, like pictures that are painted in the air, like traces of the wind in empty space. The wisdom of the Muni is that way. Its distinctions very hard for one to see. I am mindful that the wisdom of the Buddha is superior beyond conception. Conception. There's no one in the world who can receive it. Silent, then, am I, and do not speak. Commentary. If one holds the mind like Vaira, living beings give rise to 
doubts and confusion because they do not have the wisdom to understand these for the most superior drama doors. If they can hold on to their minds with very lack of solidity, with the deep faith in the Buddha's foremost wisdom, knowing that the mind ground lacks itself, one can hear these dramas most supreme. Knowing that the entrances into the mind crowd are necessarily devoid of self, we will be able to hear these most supreme dramas. Like pictures that are painted in the air, one should not become attached to upon hearing of these magnificent dramas. They are all like paintings in space with no shape or characteristics and like traces of the wind in empty space, which also lack shape or characteristics. The wisdom of the Muni is that way. Shakyamuni Buddha's wisdom is also like that. Its distinctions very hard for one to see. No matter how hard you try, they were not easily understood or seen. I am mindful, mindful that the wisdom of the Buddhas is superior beyond perception. It is silent and not easy to conceive of. There's no one in the world who can receive it. No one in the world can understand this dharma or accept these principles. Silent then am I and do not speak. Therefore, I remain silent and do not explain them for anyone. Sutra. At that time, when Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva heard this said, he addressed Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, saying, Disciple of the Buddha, the multitudes are already gathered here. They all have well purified the depths of their minds and have well cleansed their thoughts. They have well cultivated many practices. They have well accumulated the aids to the path. They have been well able to draw near hundreds of thousands of millions of Buddhas. They have accomplished limitless good rules of merit and virtue. They have cast off all stupidity and doubt. They have no defilements. They have deep faith and understanding. Within the Buddha dramas, they do not follow other teachings. Always well, disciple of the Buddha, you should receive the Buddha's spiritual power and speak. All these bodhisattvas will be able to certify as knowing all these profound places. At that time, Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, spoke verses, saying, Commentary At that time, when Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva finished listening to Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, and having heard this said, he addressed Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, saying, Disciple of the Buddha, the multitudes are already gathered here. They all have well purified the depths of their minds of faith and have well cleansed their thoughts. They have well cultivated many practices. They have well accumulated the aids to the path. They have been well able to draw near hundreds of thousands of millions of Buddhas. They have accomplished the needless good rules of merit and virtue. They have cast off all stupidity and doubt. All of them have already done away with ignorance and confusion. They have no defilements, no filth. They have deep faith and understanding. They believe in and understand the Buddha dramas and within the Buddha dramas they do not follow other teachings. They always study and practice Buddha Dharma and do not follow other teaching methods outside doors and outside ways. All is well, disciple of the Buddha, he said. You are really good, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, great disciple of the Buddha. You should receive the Buddha's spiritual power and speak. You should receive the Buddha's great, awesome spiritual mind and for this great assembly, speak the Buddha Dharma. All these bodhisattvas in this assembly will be able to certify as knowing all these profound places. They will certify to the profound Dharma doors of the ten grounds. They are all capable of realizing and understanding them. At that time, Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, 
spoke verses saying he used verses to reiterate what he had just said sutra we wish you to speak of the most tranquil bodhisattva practices unsurpassed discriminating each and every ground wisdom pure and accomplishment of proper enlightenment this assembly is free from all refinements their determination and understanding are bright and pure they have served limitless buddhas they can know the meaning of these grounds at that time vada chajari bodhisattva said disciples of the buddha also the assembly gathered here all have well purified their thoughts have cast off stupidity and doubt and in the deeply profound dharma they do not follow other teachings there are still other living beings with deficient wisdom who upon hearing this profound and difficult to conceive of matters would give rise to more doubts and in the long night they would suffer much distress I take pity upon them and therefore remain silent. At that time, Vara Chajuri Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, spoke verses, saying, Commentary, we wish you to speak of the most tranquil moon of liberation, Bodhisattva said. I wish that you, great Bodhisattva, would speak these most peaceful dramas. Bodhisattva's practice is unsurpassed. The most superior dharma dose of cultivation, discriminating each and every ground, and analyze and explain the principles of the ten grounds, wisdom pure and accomplishment of proper enlightenment, causing all living beings to obtain pure wisdom and in the future to become Buddhas. This assembly is free from all defilements, he said. Their determination and understanding are bright and pure. Their resolution and their comprehension are both very, very pure. They have served limitless Buddhas. They can know the meaning of these graphs. At that time, right after Varachajari Bodhisattva said, Disciples of the Buddha, also the assembly gathered here, all have well purified their thoughts, have cast off stupidity and doubt, and in the deeply profound drama, they do not follow others' teachings. They are not turned by the externalist teachings of side doors and outside ways. There are still other living beings with deficient wisdom. Although this assembly may understand, there are other living beings besides them who do not understand. They, who upon hearing this profound and difficult to conceive of matters, unsurpassed subtle and wonderful dramas, are ones who would give rise to more doubts. They would easily produce doubts and in the long night of ignorance and stupidity, they would suffer much distress. They themselves would constantly be unable to see through it all, put it all down and would not obtain comfort, but would undergo vexation. I take pity upon them and therefore remain silent. Since I pity those kinds of living beings, I am silent and do not speak.